Let's turn to the Lagos State Judicial Panel of Inquiry investigating the alleged human rights abuses by the defunct Special Anti-Robbery Squad size. Uh, they have now announced that that panel will not sit on Saturday as earlier scheduled because of the protest. Kemi Foladiemo, who had been covering the sittings, now reports. Uzo Chuku is seeking compensation from the panel over the police killing of the 16-year-old son, Emmanuel, in 2018. At Badia, Ijora, he says some people were beating a woman accused of kidnapping before the police came to arrest her. And then as the crowd moved to the police station, officers shot at them, shooting his son, whom he said was standing nearby. Mr. Chuku says the police later yeah. buried Emmanuel at a mass burial after a long time of being at the mortuary owing to its inability to raise funds for the burial and being abandoned by the police. But one of the youth representatives at the panel, Rinu Oduala, was missing on Friday. She later tweeted on her verified Twitter handle that she was opting out as a fallout of last week's split decision handing the Lekki Toolgate back to the concession company in which she gave a dissenting opinion. One of her tweets reads, Parties on the panel voted to reopen the toll, citing lost jobs as more important than justice for lost lives through a proceeding that didn't form a proper quorum without the reps, who represents the youth constituency that birthed the idea of the panel. She also alleges undue intimidation of peaceful protesters and cyber attacks from accounts loyal to the government. In that decision given back to LCC total control of the plaza, Justice Doris Okoobi said upon the conclusion of the forensic analysis that, quote, people may have died. We sympathize with them and their families. The reality on the ground is that the toll plaza will always be there where it is. She added that no petitioner will be precluded from inspecting and taking necessary steps thereat to prove his case. Just is yet to settle regarding last Saturday's proceedings here at the Lagos Judicial Panel investigating SAS related abuses and the Lekki Toolgate. Now, a group called EIE Project has gone to court, suing on behalf of Wani Dowu Nifade, whose son was allegedly shot at and killed at the Lekki Toolgate on October the 20th last year. This group is suing the Lekki Concession Company, the Lagos State Government, and the Inspector General of Police on grounds that the LCC's repossession of the Tolgate Plazas will further interfere on the rights of Mr. Onifade, whose petition here at the panel is yet to be heard. Also, a lawyer representing a group of NSAS protesters, Adesino Ogulano, has said that he will be going on to court to challenge the decision of the panel regarding the repossession of the toll gate on grounds of lack of quorum. Kemi Foladi Emo, TBC News, Lagos.